Hi friends, welcome to my studio. If you've been following along, you know that this summer my daily art practice is focused on things that are outside. Um, using a journal and sketchbook and drawing inspiration from this reading through this book, Reforesting Faith, um, I've kept a journaling and uh, sketching practice that's all about exploring, um, playing through the writing and the drawing, and connecting with what's around me. It's just a, been a wonderful experience so far to um, examine uh, new ideas and some new art practices without the pressure of what the end product is going to be. We're halfway through the summer and I'm wondering if you'd like to get a glimpse of the sketchbook journal so far. Hold on just a minute. So the focus of this uh, sketchbook journal is um, all about the outside. Uh, perfect for Michigan summer. And I'm just exploring uh, different lettering, different imagery styles. Um, some things are very graphic. Um, this is more of a, a traditional uh, pencil drawing, with highlights of white. We're playing with some lettering. This was inspired by the thought of uh, my memory of the very the very first memory I have of a tree from my childhood backyard and uh, lived in St. Louis I think probably about the age of four. Some quick sketches in ink. Um, I really prefer to work in ink but it's good to practice in the pencil also. A little potted plant that's on my studio patio. Found some uh, walnuts opened up in the backyard and was looking at um, trying to see how many ways, different ways I could draw it. And then I had to play with stamping. It wasn't quite level enough for that, but it was, it's always fun to experiment. I read a script, the scripture passage about Adam and Eve and the apple um, tree. It actually doesn't say apple tree. We just, uh, We've all, I don't know how it came to be that we assumed that, but I again, I'm exploring all the different ways that I can handle uh, the apple artistically. Um, I eat an apple every day in the morning, uh, most every day, and uh, so that was kind of fun. I like apples. <laughs> I'm here trying to uh, simplify by using just these basic shapes. More scripture. The evening primrose that's in our backyard. I'm playing with some um, illustration, the idea of uh, peace and the covenant of the rainbow. A couple more blocks to go, exploring different uh, textures on the bark of a tree. This was fun. I've, I've been trying to also um, change up my uh, tools that I use. And this was a bottle of Higgins Brown ink. And I, instead of using a traditional ink pen, I used a bamboo skewer to draw with. I think it actually um, has a nice feel to it. <laughs> Coincidentally, a uh, article about trees in the paper. Then I started drawing uh, lines, just lines. I've always been, uh, no pun intended, drawn to line drawing. <laughs> and so I, I started doing a, a few of those and uh, trying to again see the imagery in different ways. Um, an exploded view, a single view, pulling out some of the shapes. I was intrigued by the uh, definition of the word Bethel and how it relates to trees. That was something I learned 
that um, I had did not know before. It means the house of God, and no wonder uh, so many churches <laughs> have that name. Some more line drawings. This is a crab apple tree, leaf branch. Some drawings more successful than others, but it's all about the practice and the play. So I'm, I'm good with that. This was a collaged uh, imagery of what I see out my studio door, patio doors. Here I was trying to take this uh, realistic version drawing of this flower and seeing how many ways I could do it in a more graphic style. Combining brush and ink with an ink pen. We uh, had a small road trip and uh, this was a netherleaf verbenum that um, we saw in Winston-Salem. We have verbenum in our backyard, but not this version. It was really quite lovely. Trying out a new brush pen that um, I received. A little bit of watercolor mixed in. And that gets us to almost halfway through the summer. Um, stay tuned for how I fill the remainder of this sketchbook.